Okay, so we're gonna try to drill out a rivet. Yeah, we're gonna drill out this rivet. Second most important skill. Uh, possibly the first most important skill. <laughs> um, because we've decided that it's, it's, the rivet is no good, right? It might have folded on the back, or it's, it turns out that the rivet was too small is probably the more likely thing. Um, so what we do is we use the um, pin punch to just increase the indent in the center of the rivet. So oh, there's, there's an existing indent. There is. So this is, this is actually how you know this is a hard rivet. This is one of the markings for the, for the spec for this rivet. Okay. Is a hard aluminum rivet um, has a dot in it. And that's the case for both, both uh, kinds. Like there's a dot in the middle. Oh, and it's cool. just a tiny little indent. So, um, so that makes this a lot easier. Yeah. So it's actually, it's always a good idea for, like, you grab a rivet, you just glance at it, make sure there's a dot there. And I, I just do this automatically now. Whenever I grab a rivet, I just glance at it. There's a dot. There's not a dot. Um, because at some point in the past, uh, one, of the, one of the vendors shipped the wrong kind of rivet uh, together in a package that was. So oh, some people had to, like, drill out a bunch of rivets. Um, so here we go. So we just actually, use it. <laughs> I've done this once or twice before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So that's a yep. And just do it three times. There you go. Make that a little bigger. Okay. So the plan here is I'm actually going to give you a smaller rivet. The plan here, if I can find a smaller rivet, is you want to drill into that rivet just to you get past the head of the rivet. So if you look at it here, so we want to drill just past the head of the rivet. So we don't uh, want to go into much. the shank, right? Okay. Because because then we're, we're starting to drill out the hole. Chant, yeah, there, there's a 0% chance that we're going to be perfectly centered. Yeah. So we want just the head. And then okay. what's going to happen is um, we're going to be able to snap the head off and then the part will come apart. Okay, so give that a shot. Let me see. And usually I will use a slightly undersized drill bit. I just don't know where they are right now. Okay. So instead of using a number 40, I would use a number 41 or 42, just so that I've got a little bit of leeway so I don't screw up the hole. We're going to try to be as straight on there as we can, right? Yep. And it's usually not a bad idea to put the part in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just it's just cool. easier for you to look at like this. Yeah. Imagine it's not always possible to put the part in the thing if this is on a wing or something. Right. And you're not going to go too far. And then, is it just gonna pop off on me, or am Your I gonna know? Your fingers or? are directly yeah. on the wheel. Oh, the sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just took a little bit off so far. So, so will it pop off for me, or will? Um, or do I anything usually don't on do it. it? If you if you do it perfectly and right down the middle, it will just pop off and like come up the the drill bit. Okay. Um, I wouldn't bet on that, and I usually don't, so I'll do it a little bit, and then I'll take the same size drill bit, yeah. and I'll just pop, see if I can fit it in the hole. Okay. And I can't, so you need to go a little bit deeper. Oh, we're, we're almost there. So I would say another... Maybe it may feel that. Yeah. So it'll be... I see, okay. Yeah, you, you want it to be able to fit in the hole. And then to we're, the are we going to use this to like... Exactly. Break yeah. it off? Mm -hmm. I see. So you, you want to go a little bit more. Yeah. See how that fits. See how that fits. Oh, you feel that. It's like starting to be able to... I would go a little more. Okay. So just so that you get a little bite there. Yeah, okay. You don't want to round the edge of it. Oh, that, that'll do it. Here, I'll let you try that. So feel where you've got the most bite and bend it yep. that way. Uh, I, don't I, I don't know if I do feel like I have a whole bite there. Yeah, you can drill it a little more if you'd like. 
Oh, I uh, see. almost. You see? So maybe yeah. you just drill a tiny little bit more and you're almost there. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm bending off, it. Yeah, slightly off center. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get the, oh, 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 there oh, it is. There we go. <laughs> Let's see it. Set it down there. Yep. Yeah, it's right there. Look at that. So there's the head and cool. There she goes. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. Now what do you do with the rest of this? So now you've got a couple of different choices. So I, if I had a smaller, actually, I have, I have a. Tiny drill bit, uh, one sixteenth, which is way too small. Yeah. So I would take take this with the drill and get it just past the bottom of the countersink. Okay. You, you don't want to touch the metal yep. for the for this, but because this drill bit is smaller than the size of the hole, yeah, you've got a better chance that you're not going to touch the metal. Okay, um, so give that a try. So as soon as you get that, then we can use the punch to punch the rivet through. I see. Okay, because there's not going to be you want to go any. <laughs> It's not going to be any head on the side. Right, exactly. Aside so from what it's the... just friction at this point, right? Yeah. It's a lot of friction because you squeezed the rivet and it expanded. Yeah, okay, so I want to be like right on the top of that thing. This is handy that the previous drill made a little simple for us. You're going to fall off the edge there, I can just see it. <laughs> what do you mean? No, you were going that way a little bit. Oh, it was walking? Yeah. So this, this part's my mark. Well, we can give it a try. So uh, take the punch and uh, see if we can make that move. So you've got the, that drill bit is smaller than the, the size of the hole. So you can go, and just as keep... long as you're centered, you can go as far down as you want. And that's usually- As long as I'm it. centered and right. square. <laughs> exactly. Which is never going to be true, but- uh, After the 10,000 or so, most of them will be. And it looks like, yeah, I'm still on the drill bit. That's, yeah. oh, that's cool. Try it again, I guess. Yeah, I think, so, I think we need to like get down into the river. I think you're gonna need to because that's a fairly thick piece of metal. I think yeah. you're gonna need to Let's keep go. going. I would probably just go all the way through and pull it from the other side. Getting some. And you don't have to worry about screwing this up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I do it good. Chips are no longer quite so nice. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna. There you go. Alright, so this will be interesting. So let's take that off the vice and take a peek at the back. Let's see yeah, how. Yeah, I wanna take a how centered you were. So you can- Oh, see. I, I... Look at the back. You'll know exactly how centered you are by looking at the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not very centered. <laughs> hey, it was the first one. It's yeah. pretty decent for your first one. I mean, it's not coming off the side over here somewhere. Yeah. But... yeah. Okay, and then, and then you would just grab a pliers so, and pull that off or something, or what? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's tougher on a thick piece of metal like that. Yeah. Um, and again, the trick is you don't want to mar the metal. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe a punch. You're usually using a tiny piece of, you're using a thin piece of metal, so it's, yeah. you know, less of an issue. Or just, screw it, I'm going to mar this metal. Yeah. You can 
can also use the yeah like, maybe necessary there we go there you go look at that so that's um, another good way to see oh yeah how centered you were and how much i destroyed which... is if you went outside of the rivet shank you know you weren't centered yeah <laughs> which It's not terrible. Yeah. If you look at the hole on the part, it's definitely a little oval. Yeah. But it's not the end of the world. Yeah. In a situation like this, depending on what it is that you're working on, I would just upsize this rivet to the next size up, to the the 84, to, so that you can undo the oval. Right? Just drill it to number oh, 30, oh, oh, and then use it. the next size rivet. Okay. Um, but yeah, but this is... The two main skills <laughs> when it comes to riveting an airplane is riveting and then removing riveting rivets. and then removing the rivets. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, vans, I believe, currently when you buy an empennage kit, they will include the toolbox kit, okay. uh, which is a practice kit. So they'll have you make a toolbox. I think it's either the toolbox or the airfoil kit. I don't know which one they have right now. So it's basically a practice kit that has plans, exactly like plans for an airplane, you know, with the diagrams and the instructions and the call-outs, so that you build a toolbox, a little metal toolbox, and uh, it's, you know, how you learn to rivet before you rivet on the airplane. And what I tell people is, you have that one toolbox kit that came with the airplane, right? You want to build that toolbox, drill out all the rivets, and build it again. <laughs> and just keep doing that until it's perfect. And then you go work on your empennage. <laughs> you might have to buy a second toolbox kit. I, I have a toolbox kit and an airfoil kit at home. Perfect. I wanted to practice yeah. on, but I want to do that first. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And rivets are cheap. Drill bits are cheap. Aluminum is relatively cheap. Aluminum is cheap. Right. So practice before you do it on a more expensive aluminum. Yeah. It's not so much that the aluminum itself is expensive. It's that usually you will make a mistake that will ruin the piece after you've already spent 200 hours working on that piece. <laughs> and you don't even care about the price of it. You're just like, oh my gosh, I spent so much time on this. Yeah. But yeah. Hey folks, thanks for watching. So we're done with uh, drilling out rivets and squeezing and things like that. The next video is going to be on bucking rivets and using a bucking bar and the rivet gun. Please subscribe. It does help the channel and helps us make more videos. We'll see you soon.